What is up, guys? We're out here on the water. Look at this beautiful day out. Oh my God, does it get better than this? Absolutely not. Look at, I'm sitting up on the crow's nest. Up here, look at that. <laughs> Here's the setup, guys. This is the crow's nest I was talking about. Look, I feel like I'm a, a sailor. James starting the motor there. While I sit, while I sit here and look pretty in the crow's nest. <laughs> look at this, guys. We got the little trolling rod holders here. Obviously, the crow's nest. Look at the work that's been done on this thing. Incredible. Look at that guy. Yep. And a fish finder right there. I almost dropped my phone in. All right, let's go get on them, guys. Hey, guys, I want to let you know, we are changing the channel name back to Bassin and Mass. Fish Finders YouTube was a terrible idea. We're changing it back. Look at this view from the crow's nest. Wow. Gorgeous scenery. Oh, I should have tied a top water lure on. This fish right there. Or not. <laughs> it was fun though. Yeah. I thought I waited the perfect time, but I guess he just. I got it on video. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this only works if I fish right up below the boat. Oh, I got one. Got one, guys. Oh, it's a perch. 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 Look at that, guys. Last little perch. What do you say? Have a day, Mr. Perch. Look at that, guys. You'd think we were in Europe or something catching these damn perch. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic. There it goes. Oh my god. Tris. Stop. <laughs> I ducked my whole fucking. What's up guys? I'm about to go to bed right now. I'm actually watching the Patriots preseason game, but I wanted to let you guys know right after that last clip there, we had some GoPro complications. We couldn't film the rest of our fishing adventure, but we ended up getting a pickerel, a couple bass, and a lot of white perch. And I ended up keeping two of them. One of them was pretty big, it was like 12 inches long, it was pretty nice. Ended up keeping two of them and we did a catch and cook with them, so yeah. I'll show you guys that right up next. Just went out fishing today. We got these two nice white perch. So the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I need to clean my flay knife. So I'm gonna put them in this like little ice water bath. I'm gonna have to bleed them. So uh, it doesn't really fit. That's how big he is. But we're gonna get both of these guys in here for now. What you wanna do is cut right there where my thumb is. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's get the fillet in. So I stop right there when I get to the spine and then I cut all the way down this way up until the tail just cutting shearing this way if you guys actually want to learn how to do this i don't recommend you watch this video because i'm kind of an, an idiot so i have one fillet here guys it looks pretty good what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut out this right here which is the ribs there's a little bit of like the guts there so we definitely gonna cut that out and then i'm gonna scale it here are two fillets from the big one you can see just how much better i did on the right fillet than the left fillet um but with this other perch too, it should yield us a good amount of meat. So definitely, I'm gonna wash these real quick, just hose them off, and I'm gonna scale them, and I'll show you guys that. Here are all our fillets. These ones are pretty small, but like these two, you know, we got some, and especially this one, obviously, we got some decent meat there. I am gonna go scale them. I'm essentially gonna do to fillet these, or not fillet these, I mean, um, scale them. So I'm gonna take this knife and essentially just kind of scrape at the scales until they all come off. Here are our four fillets. They're all scaled, and cleaned. They look pretty good. I've got my fillets in this bag right here. Very simple frying method. I just put probably like two tablespoons of flour, some paprika, oregano, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, chili powder. I think that's it. 
and I'm just gonna shake it up and get it in the fryer. Oil should be ready to go, guys. We're gonna put those fillets in. Look at that. We're frying these all up. I'm probably gonna do four to five minutes, I'm guessing. Here we go, guys. Got them frying up. I just flipped them over. It's all looking not that terrible, and it seems edible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is our fried white perch. It looks pretty solid. I got some fries with it, and I did some cilantro as like a little garnish thing. Yeah, let's give it a try. Just had a bite of it, guys. It is pretty good. I did a decent job. I like the cilantro with it, and I'm trying to describe the taste. It's kind of... I guess it's just like a pan fish. It has more taste than bluegill, definitely. I've eaten yellow perch. It's about, tastes pretty much the same. It's pretty good though. I'd recommend white perch. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. We're going to be changing back the channel name to Bassin and Mass. We just got a new logo. I think it looks really good. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be hitting some new, getting some new subs soon and stuff, you know. We've been sitting at 59 for a while.